Hey, this is Mark with Merchant on the Mark, and in this video, I wanted to share uh, my profitability calculator with you, and this is based off of Google Sheet, um, because one of the most important things that I found uh, new sellers uh, like to do is actually know their numbers. So uh, it doesn't help you to buy something cheap if you're not going to make any profit on it. So there's many, many opportunities for uh, finding products, um, you know, through retail arbitrage, going into stores. Um, online arbitrage, you know, looking on websites like Walmart or Target or Home Depot or wherever it might be uh, and selling on different platforms. But if you don't know, um, you know, what fees that you actually have in processing that order to get it out to the actual customer's hands, um, not to mention the marketplace fees, then you're wasting your time. You're not really uh, analyzing uh, in the correct way. And so I want to share this uh, spreadsheet with you. It's very simple and you can adapt it to uh, fit exactly what you want. Okay, so here uh, you can see that uh, I have a, a Google Sheets set up with a few automated calculations. Um, so let's say for example, that uh, we found a product in, let's say, uh, Walmart that is clearance priced at $10, okay? In our local Walmart, we walked in, we scanned a bunch of stuff, and this is one that we found, and they have one of them, so quantity one. We then looked on our sourcing app, so I use, uh, you know, Scoutify, uh, I've used Profit Bandit in the past, there are a lot of really good ones out there. Any of your uh, phone apps are great. And so I found that I can sell it for about $30 on Amazon, let's just say. So uh, this is my total sales price that I would sell it for, but do I get $30 uh, you know, when Amazon sells it? No. Uh, Amazon, obviously, they're in the business to make money, and so they uh, will take fees off of that. Okay, And so you have their fees, and then you have the fees that you have internally. So let me go through this really quickly. So we sell it for 30, we bought it for 10. Uh, we also have to pay sales tax on that, and I'm in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, which is a ridiculous 9.5% sales tax, so yours will vary. You just need to find what your local sales tax rate is uh, and pop that in here. You can see the formula right here, 0.095 uh, for 9.5%. Um, so it cost me $10 plus 95 cents sales tax. Uh, the marketplace fees we're gonna estimate at 20%. Now this is where uh, you actually bought the product, keep it at your office or your home, uh, and then you're actually shipping it out to the customer. So there are other systems where um, you know you can send your products into a fulfillment warehouse like Amazon FBA, um, but and the the fees will be more because they're actually receiving the products, they're removing stickers, they're putting it in a box, uh, they're putting the label on it, uh, all that kind of stuff. So uh, let's just say 20% at a low end. Uh, and then if you're shipping it out, let's just say $8 to ship now. Obviously, this can vary a lot depending on uh, what you're shipping. The bigger it is, the heavier it is, the weirder, the dimensions, um, where you're shipping from and to, um, all play into, uh, play into this. Uh, but if you're shipping, let's say, for example, a two-pound package um, not too far away and you're shipping through USPS Priority Mail, um, you know, that's a common one. Let's just say it would be $8. Maybe more, maybe less. Uh, and then packaging and processing, you have to have bags, you have to have labels, you have to take the time to print out the, the address labels, you have to uh, have bubble wrap, you have to seal the package closed, you have to then either leave it out for the post, postal worker to come by and pick up, or you have to drive somewhere and drop it off. Uh, you have uh, expenses related uh, to packaging and processing any item okay you have your labor cost if you want to figure that in there it's going to be more than that so let's just say for example a dollar product so that will give us a total expenses of twenty five ninety five so we start off thinking um, that we you know might, might make thirty dollars on our sales well, we're actually not even close to that after all of our expenses we make four dollars and five cents per item okay so that's 36.99% uh, profit margin or percentage. Um, and so um, you need to use that information and compare it against what you're looking for. So what are your goals? So um, my net profit uh, lowest dollar amount that I'll accept is around $10. And uh, most cases I don't go any lower than that. Uh, most cases I'm looking for much more than that. It just depends on the product. So um, you need to decide what you're comfortable with and what your time is worth. Uh, for me, 
this percentage right here, I try to be around uh, 25 to 30 percent at the low end. So this percentage is good, but the uh, actual dollar amount, which is really all that matters, is um, you know not going to reach my threshold. For you, it may. Uh, so one way that you can look at it is uh, typically you're not just going to find one of an item. You'll find multiple items. So let's just say that uh, they had 10 of them and we looked on Amazon, for example, and it looks like it sells 10 times a month. So uh, let's just say that you could get 10 sales a month. So 10 times $4.05, that would be $40.50 per month. So uh, if you're already there, you're already uh, buying one anyway, you could buy the rest of them and package them all at the same time. Um, and so they're ready to go. Or you could send them into Amazon, FBA, or another fulfillment web, web, uh, web fulfillment store, uh, and then they could ship it for you. So um, that may be, uh, that may change your uh, opinion of this particular deal. And in my case, I know that it would because I could purchase them, send them to a fulfillment warehouse to package, then send them to Amazon and they do all the fulfillment. I don't mind paying more in, in, in fees uh, to have them do that because the worryation and the stress um, and the clutter is, you know, having it in my office is not there because uh, I absolutely hate preparing uh, products, you know, to ship out. Uh, but it's it's part of the business. You got to do what you got to do. So anyway, uh, I, I'm going to share this uh, profit calculator in the uh, description. You can download it, use it, modify it, however you need to do it. But um, it will give you a good tool to use. Um, whenever you have questions on exactly how much am I making and then you can use the information that you see here to uh, decide whether or not that's a good uh, product to uh, go with so uh, with that um, this is so with that this is Mark with uh, MerchantOnTheMark.com I really appreciate you checking out the channel um, if you like the videos that I'm putting out uh, think about subscribing or, or hitting the notification bell and please leave in the comments other videos that you'd like to see if this one helped great tell me how it helped uh, or tell me other videos that you'd like to see because I'd love to put these together for you and share you know what I've learned over the past 20 years selling uh, you know over seven figures a year um, online 100% so again uh, until next time I really appreciate you checking it out this is Mark with Merchant on the Mark uh, and I'll see you on the next one